Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So we finally have the ice cream drop candles. Yes, so I finally have some time to sit down and film it. So we're gonna talk about the candles today. And I also have a bonus gingham gorgeous candle to talk about as well. So yes, uh, I already did an Instagram live on these candles. So if you really want like the up-to-date, more quick uh, like night of purchase live videos from me, follow me on Instagram where we always come together and do some juicy Instagram lives and just have a ball talking about candles. So yes, uh, but any case, uh, so I woke up at 6 a.m. on the candle drop day. Was it Thursday? Um, and I was like, let me just lock in my order. I had an online code. Thank you so much to Winter Rain for providing that. Uh, so generous. I had an online code that I was able to use instead of a paper coupon. So I was like, let me just lock in my 25% off plus the two candles online. And Boppis was not available uh, that morning for those candles. So I was like, let me just put that in. And it was also the drop of the Ice Lemon Pound Cake body care as well as the Pink Petal Sweet Petal Pound Cake. Oh my God, that's a mouthful. Uh, as well, the rewards weren't working on that, which was annoying. I think they fixed it since then. Uh, so I just had to buy a single Sweet Petal Pound Cake shower gel with 25% off and put it in there. The notes are like strawberries. No, not strawberries. Uh, candied rose petals, raspberries, and like cake or something like that. So that sounds a whole lot like it could potentially be Pink Petal Tea Cake. So you know I got my hands on that and we'll review that once that comes in. So that will come in. But then I was like, okay, well, let me like also go into the store during my lunch hour. Uh, and so I wanted to lock the candles in in the morning just in case I couldn't go during my lunch hour. But during my lunch hour, I did uh, go to my nearest Bath and Body Works and picked up two of the candles uh, in store. And so I have that with me now. Uh, the candles were in folio abundance. I think I went during my lunch hour, which was around like 1230 when I finally got there. And that store opened around 11. So they were only open for about an hour and a half. And they were fully stocked of the candles. Some areas in my region still had them available for Boppis the next morning on Friday morning. Uh, but most stores were kind of sold out by the end of Friday. Uh, so I don't know if people still find these. Like, it just kind of depends on where you're located as to whether or not your store still has them. But they were indeed a very limited stock. So I was like, let me lock in the two online and let me also lock in two in store. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one we have is PB&J ice cream right there. And that's what that looks like. It's so juicy to finally have these in hand after seeing photos of them for the longest time. This one says raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. I have actually burned this one once already. And it has a thick rope like wicks on it, as you can see right there. And yeah, uh, this one I smelled in a store reminded me heavily of Wildberry Jam Donut first. And I was like, this is very close to this. But then afterwards, I was like, okay, but I'm getting heaps of PB&J as well as we have right here. And after having burned it, I think it's pretty much just a blend of both of them uh, just mixed together. And that's kind of what PB&J ice cream is. Uh, I'm not mad at it, but it is a little redundant to be completely honest. Uh, but if you missed out on PB&J from back in the day, this is truly the next best thing on it. Like you can kind of get it for $12.95 if it's still in stock rather than paying an arm and like for the OG PB&J on Mercari. So at least there's that. But basically you get like even parts Wildberry Jam Donut and PB&J, but kind of like water down the intensity of both of the two and then merge them together. It's kind of what this comes off as. So you get definitely like a jam note in there that is very similar to the Wildberry Jam note that you get in here. There's also slight like brown sugar crustiness in here that evokes a donut uh so there's a it's not quite as yeasty as wildberry jam donut but a slight like crumbly bakery essence is definitely chilling in there uh and that's mixed with the same sort of like nutty sweetness that you get from pb and j and also a similar like once again jam donut that you get in pb and j is kind of present in pb and j ice cream as well when you smell this, this is a lot more intense and stronger. This also has that weird kind of like mahogany teak with mahogany apple, weird perfume cologne vibe that made it kind of strange. And this one's also a little bit more toasty than PB&J ice cream. It's just once again, like they kind of diluted this and then shoved it in here. It's kind of what you get. Yeah, this is a lot more stronger and intense and just has those like weird nuances that were so controversial at the beginning, but also what made me fall in love with the fragrance so much were those weird nuances. It's kind of like that went by the wayside. Um, and then it gets like kind of, merged with the jam and slightly donut note of Wildberry Jam Donut gets mixed in. And that's truly what this smells like, at least to me. I did already burn it once. It was like a, maybe like a six to a six and a half in a bedroom, a very medium uh, range. And when it was burning, it was truly kind of like I was burning PB&J and Wildberry Jam Donut together, but like a diluted version of the two together is what it really reminded me of. But definitely gave me a whole lot of like PB&J vibes and that was like a cult favorite for us. So like if you missed out on that, this is truly the next best thing. So uh, yeah, it just kind of doesn't make sense in terms of an ice cream candle because there's nothing really ice cream about this that I get. It just smells more like a PB&J donut, which is truly what the imagery was on this candle right here. And it's just like, we finally actually got, I guess, what a PB&J donut is. 
in this because you get that sort of Wildberry Jam donut yeastiness mixed with the peanut butter and jelly like sauce mixed in there. But yeah, kind of fun, juicy, nothing really ice creamy or creamy or nothing cool evoking that would be like an ice cream. So not quite an ice cream shop, but maybe like a peanut butter and jelly donut, sure. So that's that right there. It's novelty and fun. I enjoy the one that I have now and I'll probably keep the second one that's coming in the mail. The next one we have is Limoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles and that's what that looks like. This one is Pink Raspberries, Tangy Sorrento Lemons and Fresh Sugar Cane. I have burned this one once already as well. Um, this is just really very much like a candy shop experience to me rather than an ice cream shop. Very candied. Uh, you get that like sugary lemon zest type of fragrance in there, but it's not quite as like lemon juice, lemon pucker as the actual limoncello, aka lemon drops, aka sugar lemon zest that we have here. Um, I believe they're all repackages. I think the ILN even checks out on some of them uh, across the board. Yeah, this has a lot more of that sort of like lemon pucker, a uh, lemon juice type of actual like lemon essence to it that this kind of does not have, but still has that sort of like Pez Smarties type of kind of effervescent, sugary, zesty lemon sugar fragrance. It's still in there at the top. And it's mixed with like a raspberry pixie stick type of fragrance to it. I think in the live we were saying it kind of smells like a like raspberry lemonade fragrance. I could see that, but I think it's more so like a raspberry lemonade flavored pixie stick. Stick is kind of the best way to describe it. But it also kind of smells like bubblegum as well. If you remember pink bubblegum from the Sweet Shop collection, but was also Girl Gang as well. It has very much like a bubblegum vibe to it. So like think of like a Pez or a Smarty that's like citrus flavored mixed with like raspberry pixie sticks and a bubblegum and like merge all those candies into like a candy bag and that's kind of what this smells like. So it's very much like a candy shop experience rather than an ice cream shop experience. But yeah, you get that sort of sweetsy cutesy like fruitiness of the unicorn sprinkles aka raspberries and with vanilla. So you get that sort of like raspberry lemonade type of vibe in here. But I would say raspberry lemonade pixie sticks is kind of like the best way to describe this. Uh, so if you're looking for a candy shop fragrance, then check out Limoncello and Unicorn Sprinkles. So once again, kind of a myth on the ice cream shop marketing. But you know how BBW does. It's just kind of like they play into the hype without actually making fragrances that make sense. So it is what it is. Because we also have Rosewater Ivy and Vanilla Bean, which Vanilla Bean could potentially be like a vanilla bean ice cream fragrance. So I kind of get that. But also the naming doesn't really lend into it being like Rose Petal Ice Cream. So that that's not quite on the nose ice cream either. And then we have mint chocolate chip milkshake as the fourth one. And that one's probably the most ice cream light because it is a milkshake. But even then, that's not actually technically a ice cream, like a scoop of ice cream. It's a milkshake. So that's the probably the most ice cream like one in the ice cream shop collection. But it's just like funny because they have an entire vault of ice cream candles that I literally just talked about in my previous video of like peach sugar cone, uh, ice cream bar, ice cream shop. Yeah, they pick like four rando fragrances that aren't actually directly ice cream related to put into an ice cream shop collection. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day because we still bought it. It like put us in a frenzy and it garnered the hype that I guess it, they wanted from it. So it's still probably successful to them at the end of the day, despite it not making sense. So it's kind of, I guess, our fault for continuing to buy them when they can don't make sense but it is what it is at the end of the day it was still very fun i'm very th thankful or grateful that they do these limited candle drops i'd rather them do them than not do them i know it's frustrating if you can't get to store if you can't get there on time or if an online order sells out or you're on the west coast or whatever i understand it's very frustrating but it's still fun to like have something like juicy and exciting to look forward to in the candle world on a rat like on a otherwise like a mundane thursday where it's just like oh i'm just going into work but like oh my god during my lunch hour i can go into the store and see if they have a limited candle drop and if i can still get them like that's super exciting to get the rush in the store of finding them and buying them and burning them and then going on and talking to about your friends on uh, Instagram or YouTube or what have you so I would still rather than have the candle drop than not have it so yes uh, so so fun and juicy so thank you to Bath and Molly Works for still doing like fun stuff like that so those were the two ice cream candles and let me go into the other thing which is Gingham Gorgeous right here Beautiful packaging. Oh my god. So all over Instagram and social media people were hauling this uh, It was ringing it up as $12.95 on the receipts in the, at the register So I was like, you know what come hell or high water. I'm gonna go on what was it yesterday was Friday. I was like, on Friday, I will venture out into the store and I will find a Gingham Gorgeous and like put it into my hands. So I went to my closest store and I was like, you know, the word on the street is Gingham Gorgeous is ringing up $12.95. Like if you have it, can you sell it to me? And at first they were like, oh no, we don't have it. Oh, we only have the single wig. No, that's not coming for another time. Like three or four different people said that. But then thankfully the one uh, lady who knows me, uh, she's like, yeah, I also saw it on Instagram too that it was ringing up as $12.95. Uh, so she was pretty confident that it would ring up as sale 
mail too. So she finally asked the lady, I think, who works the shipment a little bit more. And she's like, yeah, we do have it, but I don't want to get in trouble. So she's like, well, why don't we like ask the manager, like, you know, if it is ringing as 1295, can we sell it? And the manager said, yes, like, don't put it on the floor. But if it's ringing as 1295, it's technically a sale candle. So let's sell it if somebody's asking for it. So after all that rigmarole, I was able to score it and get it. So I was super excited about that. So we do have Gingham Gorgeous. Of course, this is part of the uh, Gingham launch of, I think it's like the Gingham Olfactive Collection is what's coming out. So it's a fresh, vibrant, and gorgeous, which is an extension of their like Gingham line, which also got Heart of Gold and Gingham Love as well. And the only one that's getting a candle, at least this time, is gorgeous and not vibrant and fresh. So I was like, I have to get this. The packaging is so pretty and I love collecting like these signature collection fragrances. And so this one's pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. It has like this light pink wax on it with the core wicks. Honestly, I feel like this would have been much cuter with like even a white lid. Like even that I think still kind of looks better or like a color matched like pink lid would have been fun as well. But it is what it is. Yeah. I'm actually not a huge fan of gingham to begin with, so usually none of the gingham variations really super appeal to me, uh, but this just smells like another generic Bath & Body Works body care fragrance. I've had the shower gel, just kind of one and done to be honest. Uh, it just kind of smells like strawberry scented hairspray. It's that very much like artificial synthetic made in the lab floral perfume fragrance that doesn't quite smell like flowers out in the wild. Uh, so if you like that sort of hairspray type of aerosol floral synthetic vibe that's definitely in here mixed with kind of like a strawberry lemonade strawberry fruity blend um that is very reminiscent of the strawberry lemon blend that we got in love and sunshine so if you like that check this out also buttercups and berry bellini is also very similar to this as well i think this one's just a little bit more floral than buttercups and berry bellini is but it still has that sort of like bright juiciness that we know from gingham but i don't really love the gingham base to begin with so it's just kind of like when they mix it with other stuff i'm not the biggest fan of it it's just the packaging and the marketing push and the story behind like the whole gingham aspect is just so enticing that I just, I just had to have it. So gingham gorgeous right there. So yeah, kind of take it or leave it fragrance. I mean, maybe it'll like really bloom and turn into something juicy and awesome when I go to burn it. Uh, but right now I think I'm fine with just the one. But yeah, I love collecting the signature fragrance candles. So I'm all about it. So gingham gorgeous right there. And I think that is it. So yes, I believe the tentative date on the next ice cream shop is April 5th. Uh, but they did bump up this ice cream shop launch too. So I'll obviously subject to change but once again that will be the mashup of the rosewater ivy and vanilla bean which i'm super stoked for and then the mint chocolate chip milkshake which is the one returning vault fragrance in the collection so we have that to look forward to uh stores are also starting to put out spring three candles in support of this 1295 event so it is worth still going into your store to check out if there's any spring three candles i know the waves of wellness decor collection with like the bronze sun scent and the ocean driftwood and turquoise waters that was already being set and some people have already found the capri waves and the Amalfi Coast and the Santorini Coast or Amalfi Lemon thing. That stuff is also trickling out as well. So whenever you see this video, maybe like by the time on Sunday, your store might start having those out in support of the sale. So check that out. $12.95 is a great price. Uh, I like. I wish I had a paper coupon that I could use in store. So $9.71 is even a more enticing price, but I'm still not complaining about the $13 price, especially for like the performance and variety that BBW gives us. So that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. I feel like I've talked your head off and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.